Hello and welcome to this session. This session is about the new warehouse management features that will be released in app 10.0.23. The first feature is the warehouse app promoted fields. By this feature, you can promote and highlight the most important fields for each step in each process in the warehouse management application. This is to help the users to focus on the important fields and information through the warehouse flow. And the second feature is the warehouse management app details. This feature allows the user to temporarily jump into another mobile device flow to perform another activity and then to come back again to the main menu to continue the interrupted process. Post features would be released as part of app 10.0.23 and they would be enabled by the feature management workspace. Now let's move to a quick demonstration showing how to configure and process post features in Dynamic 365 for supply chain management. So first, I'll navigate to the Feature Management Workspace to enable the features. The first feature is the Warehouse App Promoted Fields, and the second one is the Warehouse Management App Details. Please note that post features are depending on the Warehouse App Step Instructions feature. So you should first enable the Warehouse App Step Instructions feature, and then you can enable post features. Now we are ready to configure the Warehouse App Promoted Fields. Let's navigate to the warehouse management module, then setup, then mobile device, then mobile device steps. If this is your first time to work with the step instructions feature, basically with this feature, you can display a custom and detailed instructions to the warehouse user for any step in the warehouse flow while using the warehouse management app. After you enable this feature, you can either use the default instructions or you can also override a specific menu item with your own instructions. In this demonstration, we're going to override the license plate step in the sales picking flow. So here, this is the last of the available steps. Let's find here the step of the license plate. This is the license plate ID. And then here, add step configuration to override this with the sales picking menu item. So this is the sales picking menu item. Here in the translated text first tab, I can review and specify the default instructions for the license plate ID. With every step, you can uh, review or specify a default title with input and confirmation step. You can also specify or amend the instructions for the input and confirmation step. So here, for example, this is for the license plate ID, the default input that would be displayed to the user is a scan license plate. And there is also additional instructions that would be displayed to the user stating that a license plate is a unique ID that can be assigned to a container, such a box or a ballot. A scan license plate to identify a container. This is the same in instructions while confirming the step. Still, I can amend or change the default title or the default instructions. This is linked here with a language. This is ENUS. I can override this. So here I'm overriding the default input uh, title. This is for the menu item sales picking. I can also override uh, one of the instructions with input or with the confirmation step. Now let's review the promoted fields. So in order to promote and highlight the important fields in the sales picking flow, click select promoted fields first tab, then select fields. And then these are the available fields that related to this menu item. So I can move from the available fields to the selected fields. And here in the selected fields, these are the, these are the fields that would be displayed to the user in the details card of the main page of the warehouse management mobile app. So here, for example, let's move the uh, item, location, quantity, and unit of measure, and also the RF description. Then click on this arrow to move the fields. Still, I can also manage the display order of these fields. So I display first the item, then I move this up. So the item, then the RF, RF description too, then the quantity and unit of measure then the location. So these are four fields that would be displayed to the user. Still also, I can highlight two 
important fields. So I'm going to highlight here the item ID. And I'm going to also highlight the RF description too, because the item the items have a definite description that would be important to be highlighted to the user. So right now, when the warehouse worker will navigate to the warehouse management mobile app and open the sales picking menu item, the item and RF description too would be bold and would be on the top of the details, uh, the details, details page. Now let's navigate to the warehouse management mobile app and see how it works. So I just created the sales order for item A0001. And then I released the sales order to warehouse. So I got this work details. Let's copy the work ID and navigate to the mobile app. And then outbound menu, then sales picking. This is the instructions of the sales picking step. Let's scan the work ID. This is the confirmation in instructions. And here what I can see is item and the info have been first highlighted in a different color, have a star and also bold. So this is what will take the attention of the user so the user can focus on these two fields while processing the sales picking. Now let's go back to the step in instructions configurations to configure the data for the sales picking step. The idea of the data is to allow the user to jump into different menu item to perform a different activity and then to go back again to the main menu item to continue the interrupted step. Just imagine that a warehouse picker go to the warehouse to pick an item for a sales order from a specific location that has been specified according to the location directive setup. And then for unknown reasons, the warehouse picker cannot find this item physically in that location. So what the warehouse picker can do? The warehouse picker can navigate from the main menu item, which is the sales picking, to the detailed menu item, which is item inquiry, to inquire if this item is available in a different location or not. And then after specifying where the item is available, the warehouse picker can go back again to the main menu item. And if the picker is allowed to override the pick location, then the picker can override the pick location and specify the location where the item is available. Let's see how to configure this. So here in the available data fast tab, click add. So here I'm gonna select the available details for the sales picking menu item. So I'll select here the item inquiry and then click OK. So right now the warehouse user can navigate to the item inquiry menu item from the sales picking menu item. But still we can make it more effective and productive by defaulting some fields. So here, for example, instead of typing and specifying the item number in the item inquiry menu item i can copy the item value from the sales picking menu item and then paste here in the item inquiry menu item so when the user navigate to the item inquiry menu item the user will be navigated already with the item value and then we can do this also bring back from item inquiry. So I can back with a value from the item inquiry menu item to be pasted in the sales picking menu item. Now let's navigate to the warehouse management mobile app and see how it works. So I'm gonna use the same work ID. Let's copy the work ID and then navigate to the warehouse management mobile app outbound sales picking and then specify the work id so here in the main menu item which is sales picking i should pick item a0001 from location fl-001 you will see also here an additional menu has been added here to the menu item which is item inquiry or we can call it the detail menu item so if I click here, item inquiry, then you will see that the item ID has been already defaulted from the main menu item, 
sales speaking to the data menu item item inquiry and then let's confirm this and click okay so right now i see this item is available in another three locations so let's pick this one for example cp-001 and then let's go back to the main menu item sales picking and then we can use the option of override location and then let's select here the exceptions as item not there and then let's scan the location here cp-001 so right now the location has been overrided to cp-001 so this is one of the examples where you can leverage the functionality of Dieter's menu item. Still, you can configure it in different way for different scenarios that help the warehouse workers to perform their job in an effective way. So this is, was a quick demonstration that showing the capabilities of the Dieter's and promoted fields features that would be released in App 10.0.23. Thanks for watching. Reach out if I can help. Take care and good luck.